Jared Volzer here, Product Manager for Securely Classroom, to talk to you for a minute about using Securely Classroom when teaching online classes. Like all of Securely's solutions, Securely Classroom is 100% cloud-based, so it already works just as well from remote locations as it does inside the school facility. Because our teacher interface is completely web-based, there's no need to install any special client software or even a browser extension, so it works just as easily for teachers even on their home computer. For those who are not already familiar with Securely Classroom, it allows teachers to monitor student Chromebooks with both live screen views and tab list views, available to spot check and see if students are on task. It also provides tools to guide student learning by pushing resources to their devices, as well as communicate with students individually during a class session. Securely Classroom can automatically import class rosters and sync from a variety of sources. This includes Google Classroom, Schoology, and Canvas, and it also allows teachers to create classes manually. One of the most often used functions of Securely Classroom is called Site Lock. This allows the teacher to automatically open and restrict students to just a small group of websites to use during class, helping avoid distractions, keeping students on task, and actually reducing the need for the teacher to monitor the student devices in the first place. Teachers can review student browsing history either during class or after a class session ends, and they're provided with a summary of sites that the student visited most during class. So for online classes, all these same great tools work just as well as they do in the school facility. If you're teaching an online class, you probably already have a platform that you're using for online video with the students. Regardless of which platform you're using, Securely Classroom will run seamlessly alongside it to provide these benefits of monitoring, guiding, and communicating individually with students. If you're already using Securely Classroom at your school facility and switching to online classes, there are really only two settings that you might need to check. First, some districts have configured Securely Classroom to work only on devices when they have a school-issued IP address. Normally, this is done to prevent classes from running for students who are absent and at home in cases where the teacher might forget to exclude the student from a class. So for remote use, you'll want to disable this IP address restriction so that the system will run for students when they're at home on their devices. The second setting to check is the school schedule setting. Usually this is used to configure the school hours so that classes are prevented from running outside of those hours. If you anticipate that your online classes will be running during any non-regular school hours, just check this setting and adjust it accordingly if need be. Other than these two minor settings, Securely Classroom is ready to go and help you with managing your online classroom.